are a gateway to the mind, and now Gabriel has paid a terrible price for succumbing to his weariness. The many sleepless nights since his love was taken from him, the fear of falling into sleep, the nightmares that haunt him have all played their part. Did he murder this poor girl, or is there some other explanation? Doubt gnaws at him now, eating his very soul. The golem protected this child for centuries, loved her dearly, and there was no way he would have let Gabriel live, yet alone give up the gauntlet. Few men could continue. Most would abandon the quest, but something deep inside forces him ever onwards. A dark force has taken hold, and all creatures of the night will come to fear him now.
I have come to fulfill the prophecy. My acolytes were not lying. A warrior from the Brotherhood, here on Lycan soil. I wonder, warrior, if you know where you are and who I am. I am on desecrated land, and you and those of your clan do not deserve to live. <laughs> you say you are here to fulfill a prophecy. You and the other Lords of Shadow are protecting a power in your sanctuaries. I have come to reclaim that power. You, alone, you dare enter my inner sanctum and dictate your petty mortal terms to me. I am immortal, little man, and your pathetic prophecy is known to me, but you are ignorant. Ignorant of the real truth of your situation. It is you who are ignorant. Ignorant of the pain and suffering you have brought to this land. Hear me. Many centuries ago, Three great warriors founded the Brotherhood of Light, the order to which you belong. Their sole purpose was to serve God and defeat the Devil. For decades, the Founders fought fiercely against the spawns of Satan, and finally tipped the equilibrium in God's favor. Such was their commitment to the Crusade, that their studies in Holy Enlightenment led them to three sacred places, where the power of God converged with such intensity that it forged a bridge between the spiritual and the real. The Founders used that power to purify themselves abandoning their human forms and transforming them into spiritual beings whose power was second only to God's. You tell me nothing that I did not already know, beast. Little did they realize that what they left behind were not their carcasses devoid of souls, but instead the dark sides of themselves. Don't you see? That is how we came to be. We, who you call the Lords of Shadow. No. You lie. This place is where one of your founders ascended into heaven, and where I was born. This is the place where, according to your prophecy, a warrior of light will reclaim the power of my beloved brother in heaven, and I too will diminish. If that were to occur, he would die with me. Because we are still the same being. He and I, still connected. Kill me, and you kill him. Kill us all, and you will kill the sentry founders of your own order. Ah, <laughs> brother. Even you have to smile at the irony of it all. Perhaps he is willing to sacrifice himself for you. For the greater good. I, however, am not. Your skills are no less for mine! Is this the best the Brotherhood can offer?
to see the end of this day. Make haste, my love. Reclaim the power before it is lost. Oblivion. Sempiternum. Daemonis. Unite the two that remain. Come with me. Our time is running out. Deed is done. 
Cornell is no more. Such a pity that the Brotherhood of Light, the order to which we both belong, should also be the reason why the world is in such chaos. Gabriel, you have proven your worth, my friend. You have a piece of the God Mask. It is said this relic can bring back the dead. It is said this relic can bestow power beyond any man's reckoning. Now, with the help of the old god, he heads toward the land of the vampires and further into the heart of darkness. Where are we? What is this place? The Crows Pass. The land of the vampires lies beyond those hills. A powerful witch protects this domain. I can go no further. Who are you? And why do you help me? You may think I am helping you. But you would be wrong. I serve no one. You would do well to remember that.
one of the last vestiges of human civilization left in this place of death and cold. It lies not far from the vampire's castle, our next objective. I have some matters to attend to here, matters that could spoil our plans. I will deal with them and try to rendezvous with Gabriel later. He has not slept in days, not since the girl. The pain is etched on his face still. But in his soul, only hatred drives him. We will not speak of it. He must not know I have seen everything, that I have followed him this far. Thank God that you are still among the living, my friend. The Lycan Lord has been defeated. I have his power. What happened here? I congratulate you on your victory. But these fellows were not so fortunate. Word has spread of our quest. The vampire clan have slaughtered this entire village. And now, they are expecting us. That abbey. I am told the abbot possesses an ancient relic that harnesses the power of the sun. It is said to be capable of burning vampires and reducing them to ashes. That relic protects the abbey and all who take refuge there. But the abbot has barricaded himself inside and filled the building with deadly traps to deter visitors. After years of isolation, some say he has been driven quite mad. He resides up there, in the tallest of the towers. If we could persuade him to give the relic to us, it would give us a tremendous advantage over the vampires. But it won't be easy. Mad or not, damn him for not protecting his people. 